Hello and welcome. Today we are going to just look at the date command. It's a date, date command. We've, we've used it before, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm going to be writing some scripts using it uh, in the next couple of days, probably. So I thought that I would go over some basic functionality of it. Now, you probably know if you type date, it gives you the date. Day of the week, the month, day of the month, hours, minutes, seconds, uh, your time zone, and the year. Um, but the date command can actually do a whole lot more. Not only output things in different formats, uh, your date and time in different formats, it can also do calculations for you for between dates and stuff like that, or get certain dates, uh, the date of certain things in the future and past. Well, well, let's just look at it. So one that I use a lot is date plus percent s. And what that gives us is our epoch time or our Unix uh, timestamp. And that's the number of seconds since Jan uh, since you know the midnight January 1st, 1971, 1970. I don't even remember. But it's the number of seconds. There's no, um, it makes it very easy if you want to do calculations. We've done this in the past with timers. Um, it's number of seconds. So it's like, how long since I ran that command? If I run again, now I can subtract the second number, the first number from the second number, and that's how many seconds it's been. And then you can convert that into minutes, days, uh, uh, weeks, months, whatever you want, because you can do the math on the number of seconds. Where if trying to calculate, you know, what day it is can be difficult because there's different number of days in a month. Is it leap year? Blah blah blah. But if you're trying to get uh, how much time has passed. Time sample like this is very useful, as we've talked about in the past. But basically, you do date plus, and then you do percent and a letter, and it will output something different. Like, if I was to do date plus percent uh, with an M like this, it says 10, because I, it's October right now when I'm recording this. It's the 10th month. If I do a capital M, it says 05, because if you look at the, date, at the time right now, it's 5 minutes after 10. Uh, if you do H, that's going to give you the hours here. Um, but you can also put these together. So like D is the day of the month. Capital Y is the year. Lowercase y is the year, but in a two-digit format. So if I wanted to do make the date look like this, 10, uh, 16, 2018, I can do that. So I just say date plus percent. And then I say um, M, lowercase m for the month. And I'll do a slash. And I'll do percent D for the day, slash, percent, and I can do a capital Y if I want 2018, lowercase y if I want uh, just 18. If you want to do it, depending on what country you're in, you probably do it a different way. Like so, you can do the day, then the month, then the year, which, yes, I admit makes sense, but really I think it makes more sense if we did year, month, day, if you really want to get technical about it. Anyway, clear the screen here. Uh, other options are if I did a capital F here. It does it uh, similar to what I just said. Actually, it is what I just said, but they use dashes. Uh, so if you wanted that, but you wanted slashes instead of dashes, you'd, uh, as far as I know, you'd have to manually do slash uh, percent month uh, percent day. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, F is a format similar to what I was talking about, but maybe you want different delimiters or where you want to call them in between the numbers. Uh, so that's some things. So if you want to do another option is plus percent A. That's the day of the week. I could do plus percent capital A, and instead of the short little three letters, it gives me the full name. And of course, you can do this to check stuff. If your script's running and you want to do it something different on Monday than Tuesday, you can check this. You run that command and compare it to, does it say it's Tuesday? Does it say it's Monday? If so, do this with basic if-then statements. Um, you can also do you know timestamps. So uh, I can do plus percent, and I can do a capital H is the hour, uh, capital M is the minutes, and capital S, uh, yeah, capital S is the seconds. And I am looking at notes, which we'll talk about here in a moment. Uh, H plus, uh, or not plus, but we'll do like this. So we're going to do a time uh, percent M colon percent S, and no, not lowercase s, capital S, as we talked about. Lowercase s is seconds of epoch time. And if I run it again, you can see well, now it's changed. So that's that. If we do man date, we can go in here and scroll down, and they have everything listed. We have day of the week in numbers, where zero is Sunday. 
you can have week number of the year. So there's 53 weeks in a year. And you can figure out what week of the year it is. Uh, so, yeah, uh, months, minutes. Oh, if you want to put a new line, I didn't even know you could do that. I would have done backslash n. Let's see. Let, let's give that a try. Let's say I wanted the seconds on a new line. Does this work? Nope, it doesn't. So they said um, percent n, and it put the seconds on a new line. So I could do something. I wonder, will this work? I go hours percent n minutes percent n seconds percent n oh no I don't want the percent n there I want well that's pretty cool I didn't even know you could do that uh, so you learn something new every day uh, so yeah lots of I mean the man file only has a few options other than the formatting most of that man file is formatting um, so there you go Go ahead and check that out. We'll look at this a little bit more in the next video. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.